tiny behaviors, moving my foot towards or away from facing you can change how approachable I'm perceived. Now, you did talk about the lower body being cut off. I'd love to talk about what are those nonverbal signals that we're sending with our lower body that do help in building trustworthiness. A really interesting study that I've recently done is looking at the power of the lower body to create perceptions of approachability. We know from research that when you orientate towards someone, you're perceived as more approachable, you're perceived as more warm and inviting. We know that the lower body has an effect because studies have shown that the feet are honest. So when we're nervous, the rest of the body is saying, I'm oh, fine, but the foot is tapping away because we think that people can't see it. So if we're trying to control for our behaviours, we think about my face, my hands, my upper body, but we don't think, okay, I've got to control my feet. We just kind of let them do their thing, which is why I was really interested to see if the feet carry any effect. And what I found was that using a male and a female individually as targets, so they had their upper body facing towards an observer, lower body either facing towards or facing away. And lower body facing towards, they were perceived as approachable. Lower body facing away, they were perceived as unapproachable. But what was interesting is the sex of the target, sex of the observer, didn't matter. What also didn't matter was how introverted or extroverted the observer was. The only thing that mattered was the foot orientation. Tiny behaviours, moving my foot towards or away from facing you can change how approachable I'm perceived. And that's incredible. 